Service provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Say I copy the same program because it's a login page. On the same login page, what I have to do, see here, I'll write down the steps from here, from the beginning, see. Okay. So, can anybody see name there? Name. Name, string name, see this one. This is the one we are going to use. Enter this. And what is the name? Where do you get the name? We get the name from the HTML page, right? So we'll see from HTML page only. Let's see the from the HTML page. So what is the name here? What's the name you people are able to see in this line? Username. So copy this. Right click, copy. Go to the go to the program. Just say And find element returns. What the find element returns? By this time you should remember what the find element returns. Answers. Not web elements. Web element. Web elements is different. Web element it will return. Not object. Web element. Okay. So this method returns a web element, but we call that as an object, but it's a web element. Okay, so next answer. Both are same. We call both are same, but this method returns a web element, right? See, we the way you call is different. The method what it does is different, right? So you call object, you call a HTML component, you call an element, you call any way, but this method returns a web element here. Okay, so what is a so suppose for example, if you want to enter the text, what is the method I have to use it? What is the method I have to use to enter the text now? send keys yes that's it the program is done send keys that's it you enter the text as using send keys as abc so here by dot name name is the locator here see name the previous example id okay so that's the difference id and name basically here the name and id both are same but some cases they might change so you have to exactly give what is the name value what is the id value okay two locators we have seen so let's go to nest locator tag
Okay. See, I need answers from V1. Let's see. So here in this, this is a HTML source code because I have written HTML source code. I am writing some different kinds of scenarios. Okay. So based upon my understanding, I am writing different kinds of scenarios you might come across. So tell me now in this HTML source code, what are attributes here? Tell me one by one. Tell me the attributes now. Yes. So type ID name class. All are called as attributes or properties. Anything is fine. So what is the tag name here? The tag name is this one. input not input type only input don't give type there input only type is also attribute okay input is a tag name okay fine tell me in the next example what are the attributes here tag name div yes Here there are no attributes. What's the tag name here? Actually div span div span will help us to display some text in some color, some, some block of section of text or some section of text. If you want to display in color, we'll use div or span. Okay? So div means like uh, why I'm also not sure what the div tag does. Basically, it's like uh, it'll display some section of text in some background color. Suppose, for example, I used div in my program. See here. Uh, when you see this one, login page, you see the background thing. These are all defined using div. Okay, I defined this using div. So the background color I defined using div. So that's how you can write it. So when I say login page, when I put div on top of it, what happens? The background will apply some color. That's a different, okay? Frame is different, div is different, okay? So tomorrow I'll check and tell you what the div full form means, okay? The tag name here is h1. Here. So here tell me, what are the attributes here? What are attributes here? href. What is the href stands for? href stands for hyperlink reference of stands for hyperlink reference, hyperlink. What is the tag name? What is the A stands for? A stands for Anchor tag. It's an anchor tag. Okay. So these are different scenarios. Why I have written is people think that you no know, tag name is input only. No. Tag name can be div, can be h1, can be a, can be span, can be uh, anything. Anything might happen. Apart from attributes, what are you seeing in the left hand side, right? That first one. That's called tag name. HTML is a tag name. Head is a tag name, body is a tag name, table is a tag name, tr is a tag name, td is a tag name. So a lot of tag names will be there. So don't consider tag name is only input. That's the reason I'm writing all these things now. Right. So let's create a new program for third point called input called called what is that? Tag name. So let's create one more program for tag name. Copy this tag name, create a program. So how do you create a program? Right click on the package, new, say class, okay, so let me write down the program now. Okay, I'll copy few lines from this program because uh, 
it's all uh, just same because we are trying to open the login page try to copy these two lines now the actual logic starts from here see driver dot find element you see there is a tag name there there is a method called tag name yes right let me select it so what is the tag name here in our example what's the tag name here in our example in input type is equal to text class is equal to text box color so what is the tag name here let's see the html page the tag name is input okay see here tag name is input so i'll copy this and paste it here then okay so are you able to understand these three locators id name input id is equal to username name is equal to username tag name is input if you are able to understand these points i'll try to explain few more points not related to locators we have to see about find element okay if you feel it is little difficult you have to spend time you have to just practice it that's there is no other way okay so you just check for a, a facebook or anything just check that okay <laughs> now so now what we are going to do is now here so what the find element does let's discuss about find element again let's discuss about find element before that let's see the html page okay so i am showing the source code for this html page source code for this html page how do you see the source code of the html page right click again i am showing right click you see v page source there is an option called v page source select it view page source select it so this is showing the text in a very little font when i want to increase the font i'll just put control plus plus so that everybody can visible it like you see that control plus plus okay fine i think everybody is able to see this html source code now now i need an answer now how many input tags are there or in another way i am asking how many input elements are there input tags or input elements how many are there three i am asking how many input tags are there i am talking about input i am not talking about style div a i am talking about only input i don't want anything else i am talking about how many input tags are there okay let me show you this one two three so one input element for text box username one input element for the password text box one input element for the button so when you see the html page how many are there one two three so when i talk about his theme when i talk about elements elements will be displayed in the body only okay and i'm talking about input elements input tag names you have to check in only in the body only because elements will be displayed in the body like they will write in the body that's a that's a logic actually nobody writes in the head head contains style head contains div head contains title okay so when i say input how many inputs are there here you just say control f or if you want if you are facing difficulty control f just see input 1 2 3 1 2 3 it shows 
three times right right or not three input tags are there okay but what i am trying to do when i say driver dot find element by tag name input so which one it will select it will select the first one or select second one or third one again i am saying when i say driver dot find element by tag name input i am giving so which one it will select first input second input or third input i need the answer for that okay again i am saying driver dot find element by tag name we are passing input see here see this example this one i am talking about this example only so when i say tag name i have three tag names in the html page so which one i go and enter the text how are you getting the my point okay <clears throat> okay okay i got couple of answers i'll tell you find element always selects the first matching element okay if it is able to find first one it will stop the matching and it will enter the text in the first one okay that is a concept okay so let me write down for the find element i'll write three points you have to remember these three points when i say about find element okay see okay first point find element is a method returns a web element as output i think this everybody knows it as i know right because find element by id find element by uh, like you know say name find element tag name it is returning a web element first point done second point find element selects the first matching element in the list suppose i have list of three inputs but i select the first one the this we have seen the third one find element throws no such element exception when we are trying to find an element which doesn't exist suppose for example you are trying to look for h1 h1 tag name which is not there what happens you get a no such element exception this is an runtime exception because in the compile time doesn't know anything when you try to run it will open the page it will look for the element it is not there we get no such element exception these three points are important okay this is for find element okay so in order to reproduce the third point what you have to do see third point if you want to produce just give abc here what happens when you give abc that element is not there you get a no such element exception which is a runtime exception because it doesn't show compile time exception because compiler doesn't know anything only in the runtime you get this exception okay so we completed tag name also Let's finish class now.
okay here what is the class name here what's the class name here okay when you see html page see tell me the what's the class name here see for the text box see for the text box use the name there is a background color yellow this is coming because of this class so classes will help us to display some style say some background color say some height width so all these things are going to be defined by the style tag okay defined by the style tag okay so class is equal to text box color this is called class name so when i know the class name i can write the program easily let me write the program now see create one more program class same program no change copy paste it That's it. That's it for this four locators. First one is ID, second one is name, third one is tag name, and fourth one is class name. And we have seen one method called get attribute. Get attribute will retrieve the attribute values. Okay. So when you try to practice tomorrow, okay, I think today you practice. When you practice, you try to open Facebook. See. For login button, login button is same. See, login button has name is there. Login. Say ID is there, so you try to practice, okay? So we are locating the element using the class name, and we are entering the text also. See, so we are locating this color where it is available. It is available in the text box, and we are entering the text also. So class name will help us, okay? So we are seeing that class name. That's it. See here, if you see here in the text box here, as a tester, you no need to think about anything. Just need to see is there any class is there? Yes, there is a class. You just copy this. Class is equal to something, some X Y Z. Not a problem. Copy this. Come here. Just by class and paste it. That's it. You no need to worry about anything, whether it has color or anything. If it has class is equal to some value, take that value and use it. Okay. Um, one more thing. So I think if you want to practice, you can just open Facebook. See. See, I think uh, whoever like uh, see login button also you can practice. That's what I'm saying. You try everything. If you are not able to find, let me know. See, paste a mouse pointer on login. You see ID there, login. Okay. You see, you see name there. You can use ID or name to click on login button, right? So basically, when I say driver dot find element by ID, we get a web element, and you see e dot click. You try that. Okay. So we have ID and name. You can use either ID or name for login button. Yes, this is sufficient. Yes. So Facebook, I'm showing. See, see, place a mouse pointer on this text box. See, I'm again. I'm showing. Place a mouse pointer on the text box. Okay. Are you able to see ID? What is ID value? See. What is ID value? type there in the chart window yes that is sufficient right to enter the text there 
yeah so focus only on id because id is there name is there either you can use id or name try to focus on id or name today tomorrow you start increasing it so where did i place see here select this and just place a mouse pointer on this text box okay getting fine i think i'll stop it here i'll just see some issues anybody has facing facing any issues then let me stop recording